All right, welcome everyone to another a la carte training session. Uh, we're here with Chef Pete in the Vulcan Test Kitchen. Uh, Chef Pete, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you'll be doing today. My name is Pete Schellenbach. I've been cooking professionally for about 30 years, and today we're gonna to be talking about heated holding. All right, so uh, what are you gonna cook for us today? So today I'm gonna to be starting with a uh, prime rib in the VCH8 cook and hold unit. What that provides is the ability to get hot enough to produce browning, the Maillard reaction. Uh, it has fan-forced air so that I can brown meats, but because it is a cook and hold, I can also utilize the low temperature aspect uh, and by cooking meats, especially large pieces of meat, at lower temperatures, I get much greater yield. Okay, great. And uh, I guess why is the heated holding such a you know key part of the kitchen? As we try to manage through post-COVID labor shortages, peak volume periods, heated holding is an important piece in the in the kitchen because it will help you smooth out the production through the through the spikes of high demand periods. All right, sounds good. I'll let you get to it and uh, we'll check in with you in a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna be utilizing the fact that a cook and hold unit such as this gets hot enough to provide some browning. The fans that distribute the heat evenly inside the cabinet also help with some browning but I'm going to be able to utilize the fact that it cooks slowly over a longer period of time to get greater yield from the, from the product that I'm putting in. We're showing it right now under a hood, but this unit does not need to be under a hood. It can actually be installed with smaller feet under counter. So it would be a great way to utilize space that would normally be taken up with like a shelf or something like that. We could turn that into a food production space. In my cook and hold cabinet, um, I have very simple to use controls. I've got a power button here, powers the unit on, goes through a startup sequence and then I'm ready to cook. As soon as it clicks on, it's the blinking value is the one that I can change with the knob currently. By pushing the knob, I can change which field I'm going to change. I'm gonna start here and this is how long I'm going to cook. And I wanna cook, let's say, just making one up, 60 minutes at 300 degrees then I'm gonna want my hold temperature to be, let's say, 145 degrees. Now, to start this sequence, I press the start button and that process will begin. Please note that because these controls are so easy to use that there's gonna be minimal training involved in this piece of equipment. Also, you're gonna get longevity out of it because it's an all stainless steel construction, it's extremely durable. So real quickly, inside, I wanna show you that the racks are fully adjustable. I can cook with either full sheet trays or I can turn a hotel pan or that size of a pan sideways and put two deep on each shelf. I can also, if I have a, like a steamship or a really, really large roast, I can remove racks so that I have clearance to put the food in. There we go. And so what I've got here out of the cook and hold is a prime rib. You can see that I've got nice browning around the edges, around the outside of it. You can see that I have very little moisture loss. Some of that, most of that is just fat from the fat cap, but very little juice came out. Uh, this is almost exactly the same size that went in. Um, and uh, now I'm gonna set this up here and cut this bad boy and show you what I got. So one thing that I think is really important to see is that this roast beef is that same temperature end to end. If you notice that the end cut is the same temperature as the center of the, the, center of the roast. What that means for me as an operator is that I'm able to utilize the end cuts at my specified temperature. With traditional cooking of roasts, you'll get two well done end cuts. You have to, there will be people who want those well done end cuts but if you don't end up selling those well done end cuts, you're gonna end up with meat that you paid for that you're not able to sell. By making sure that the end cuts are the same temperature as the center of the roast, I get total utilization out of the roast. That way, if somebody wants an end cut, I can always put it into my salamander broiler and bring it up the well done, 
but I can never take a well done one back to rare. I'm here in the Vulcan test kitchen in front of a full line of Vulcan holding equipment. Over here on my right is the VRH8 holding cabinet. It's a manual dial, uh, manual control, still all stainless steel construction. If you remember, we cooked uh, the prime rib on the VCH that gets to a higher temperature to get some browning in that one. That one also has a digital control. Comparing the VRH8 to the VCH8, the VCH has digital controls, gets up to 350 degrees so I can get some actual browning from the Maillard reaction. Uh, again, gentle holding. The VCH also comes in a 16 shelf model with one control. One nice thing about the VRH at this level is that it is great as a base for another piece of equipment like the Vulcan Mini Jet. Then moving over, I've got the VBP-15. This is available as a pass-through unit, 100% stainless steel construction inside and out. Uh, it's top-mounted controls and digital readout. Uh, make sure that you're always operating at the same temperature. The double Dutch doors make sure that more heat stays inside the cabinet because if I need something out of the top, I can just open the top door as opposed to opening the entire door. Much like all of our Vulcan holding, holding equipment, the uh, heat moves very gently inside this cabinet you can see that you can have either a hotel pan sized or a full sheet pan sized tray that fit in. Um, the heat moving around very gently through the heat tunnel is an important feature of the Vulcan holding because it makes sure that the heat is very gently balanced throughout the cabinet. Then behind me here is the VP18, which is a proofing cabinet. You'll notice again, all stainless steel construction, top mounted controls, again, very simple to use. Uh, a proof or a hold setting. The, uh, the glass door is glass as opposed to Lexan, so it will not yellow over time. The VP18 has adjustable racks on the inside, so if you've got larger, larger things that you need to put in, you can adjust the shelves to make sure those fit. There is a water pan in the bottom uh, that warms up and allows the humidity to flow around the cabinet. Obviously, in any operation where there is baking being done, scratch baking, you're going to need some sort of proofing environment. The, the Vulcan proofing cabinet is a great addition. Then over here, I've got the VW1S drawer warmer uh, with the standard six inch hotel pan and the frame is already notched out to accommodate either half size hotel pans or third size hotel pans. They come in one, two, or three levels. And with Vulcan, each level gets its own thermostat rather than our competition, which puts one thermostat for all drawers. It's got a very strong handle. Each drawer will have its own vent to help control humidity. If you needed more space, the drawer warmers also come in a slimline version. Rather than being oriented this way as the wide dimension, it'll go deeper, but occupy left, less counter space left to right. And then lastly, I've got the VCW chip warmer. Some amazing features about this. This in, in, in restaurants where you need to hold tortilla chips, this is absolutely what you need. The chips load from the top, the fried tortilla chips load from the top, what that sets up is a situation where the first chips that went in are the first chips to come out because you open the drawer here, chips come out, I can portion them here, close the door and keep everything nice and warm on the inside. Uh, the motor, the confection fan here. Then on this side is my power switch. Behind the unit is the temperature control. The other thing about this that I want to really drive home is the fact that it is so easy to clean. So to clean this unit, all I have to do is release these two clips on the side and lower this panel. It comes off. Then all I have to do is remove this center panel. All of these pieces are easy to clean. Stainless steel construction, obviously, easy to wipe out the inside and just as easy to reassemble. Front panel starts down here, and then lifts up. The clips hold the panel in place.
So in conclusion, in front of this great lineup of Vulcan holding equipment, I just want to make sure that you understand that everything is very easy to use, very easy to clean, and also has a 10-year warranty on the heating element. Hello everybody, Kenny Graven here, uh, sales development manager for the heated holding division. Uh, thanks Chef P for taking us through the heated holding products, nice visual uh, display of what we've got to offer. We want to emphasize some of the, uh, or summarize some of the things that Chef has pointed out real quick. Uh, the big thing we want to talk about anytime we're talking about our Vulcan heated holding products is all stainless steel construction. And when I say all stainless, I mean inside and out. You can cut that, those units in half and you're going to see nothing but stainless steel. So you're going to have a long, reliable, durable products in all the heated holding units. Um, Ten-year element warranty. Very simple element system to, to warm these products. Somebody has something two, three, four years down the road, we'll send them an element at no charge. Uh, most of the designs are simple enough that a lot of the customers could actually do the repairs themselves. So let's talk about all stainless to our customers, 10-year element warranty. The advantages of stainless are it's easy to clean, easier than aluminum, easier than plastic. It's a great insulator, keeps that heat inside. And it looks good. It matches everything else in our kitchen. Okay, those are the things we need to emphasize through the whole portfolio of heated holding products. Cooking hose, the VRH series again. Uh, nice manual dial, time and temperature. Very simple to use. 250 degree thermostat. So we're doing low temperature roasting of products inside that cooking hose unit. You will get the caramelization because we are moving a little bit of air. Just enough to give you that browning you need. Uh, for your roast, and uh, but gentle enough that you're not going to lose any of your your product. You're not going to have the product waste of drying it out. So a uh, great product. You can use uh, multiple racks to get the same temperature, same degree of doneness on each each product you put in the cabinet. I'm going to move real quick into our warming cabinets, both uh, insulated and non-insulated. Our non-insulated cabinets, all stainless, uh, nice full view glass doors on all of them top mounted display, so uh, adjustable tray slides on uh, the VP series, and our VHFA has a fixed rack system, so keep those two differences in mind. Our fully insulated cabinets uh, with the heat tunnel system, great air distribution, top mounted digital uh, display temperature, great product, adjustable tray slides are standard, uh, we do have shelves optional. Some of our bigger customers actually use shelves, so keep that in mind when you're selling that product. A lot of flexibility anywhere from a five level that you can put underneath a uh, uh, cabinet or, or a stand uh, all the way up to 18 level units. Double Dutch doors standard on anything above our 13 level uh, and with lots of options. So think about those. Um, Lot, lots of opportunity in the heated holding world, especially with our, our warming cabinets. Uh, our drawer warmers, uh, one, two, or three levels, uh, notched. Remember that notch display. You don't use these old adaptive bars anymore where you had to put those in between the pans. Very difficult to use, very awkward. So uh, a really nice product. We have been very fortunate. We've got those in stadiums and arenas all around the country. We've sold a lot of drawer warmers over the last five years. Um, and finally, I want to talk about our chip warmer. Gosh, that's uh, one of our better growth products over the last five to ten years. Uh, keep in mind how easy that was. If you saw the demonstration by Chef, uh, how easy that is to tear apart for your daily cleaning. Nice line of heated holding product. Just a real quick summary, recap. Uh, get out there and sell them. It's a new world today. Uh, the heated holding division is probably uh, gaining the most benefit through all the changes that are being made in the kitchen. So look for those new opportunities. Go back to some of your old customers and see if they're not looking for new ways to keep their products warm, keep them accessible to their staff at point of use. So thanks for your great selling efforts. Uh, you got any questions, please feel free to give me a call. Have a great day. Thanks for your time.